Hey everybody, this is Jason Matthews, your financial guru. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about all the SBA loans and programs that are out there that we're looking for. So before we get started, hit that subscribe button. So right now, many of us small businesses are shut down completely. Restaurants are shut down before, besides delivery and takeout. We go downtown in our cities and we see buildings are normally crowded. People roaming the streets that are completely empty. And most of those businesses are small businesses and they're suffering. I understand that problem. I understand that cost. So what I want to say is I want to help you guys out, understand the programs that are out there. And some of these programs, I'm not going, I'm going to be very honest. I am pissed about the rollout of some of these programs. I am pissed about how some of our major banks, Wells Fargo, Chase, and Bank of America in particular, are not loaning out money to people who need the money, even though they got $300 trillion from the Federal Reserve. So yes, I am calling out those companies, those banks out there. So I tell people right now, all my rent right now on my soapbox is not to bank with those three entities. That's how I feel, because those three entities got bailed out in 2008, and now they're hurting American people today. But besides that, here are two programs that people are trying to get to our small businesses to help them, help them survive during this COVID-19 crisis. And so here's the two programs. The two programs are, and I'm going to look at my phone, just get, always give them a little, the name of them. I know the initial is great is the PPP program, which is the Paid Protection Program. And then the other program is the Economic Injury Disaster Loan. These are the two programs that everybody's looking at to help them out as a small business owner. Now, the good thing about the stimulus package was usually when we say small businesses, we talked about people who own restaurants, um, accounting firms, law firms, so on and so forth. But part of the stimulus package was including people at regular 1099. There were the person who made your cake at your wedding. It was the person you hopped in a car with an Uber. So it includes everybody when we talk about 1099. People who don't get, who are hustling to make ends meet every single day who I call your 1099 people. They can apply for these programs. So the PPP program is 2.5% of your monthly payroll. So let's say you notice your monthly payroll, rents, utilities, blah, blah, so on and so forth. They're going to times it by two and a half. So if your monthly expenses for rent Utilities, payroll, is $10,000 a, a month, times that by two and a half. So if it's $10,000, you could do it, it's going to be about $25,000. Now, the interest rate they're going to give you is 4% interest rate, which is fixed. Now, here's the reason why people love the PPP plan. One, is no payment is used is for the first six to 12 months, there's no payment required onto the plan. Also, if you show that you pay for rent, utilities, payroll to keep your business in force, that loan is forgiven out of this program. That's why people are loving it. Now these programs, you can't, if you don't have a banking relation, a lending, not banking, but a lending relationship with Chase, you cannot bank with them or Bank of America for this program. Wells Fargo is not doing this program at all, so don't waste your time going there for that. If you have relationships with your regional banks or even your credit union and they have an SBA program, you want to be dialed in and talk to your banker about that. That's why it's so important to have a relationship with them. The second program is the Economic Injury Disaster Loan, EIDL. Now that loan is up to $2 million. Small business has a really good rate at 3.75. Nonprofits are better at 2.75%. Now the loan starts immediately for your payment. So you have 30 days after to get the loan for payment. And that payment can be up to 30 years. Now. The difference between this is that loan is not forgiven. So you have this loan, none of it's forgiven, so you're going to have to pay that loan. But here's a caveat why people applied. People apply is because if you don't get the loan, they say supposedly that it took you three days, um, within three days of applying, you're supposed to get a $10,000 grant, even if you're denied the loan. So guess what? This is why you should apply for this loan, saying, hey, if I don't get it, I still get $10,000. Who likes free money? I do. Here, I apply for it. Now, oftentimes, people say, which one should I apply for? And my word is both. Now, the EIDL loan, you could go to SBA.gov and apply. Now, the PPP loan, you go to your bank and you apply with your bank. Now, here's the thing. With the EIDL loan, they say you should have three days to find out if you're eligible or not for the loaner, if you get sipped or not in the $10,000 grant. That is not happening right now. So what I recommend, because SBA is so backed up with underwritings and everything else, your bank's going to be a while until they get the proof because it's going to take so long. It's not going to be an easy rollout. It's going to take some time. So you're going to have to put pressure on your banker. But more importantly, I tell people is put pressure on your congressman, your senators, 
on the federal, state, and local level. For me personally, I wrote a letter explaining to them why I'm applying for these loans, my current financial situation. Because I think if we do that, then we can have our people we vote for put more pressure so we can jump the line a little bit to apply because millions and millions of businesses, they say 300 million businesses are, are 300 million business, I believe, or 3 million businesses in America, uh, small businesses. So it's important that we push them to make sure that we get the funding provided. I think there's not, I know there's not enough money for most small businesses, so you're going to have to put pressure on before the money runs out. But I do believe down the road we will see another stimulus package. Now, if you have any other questions, give me a call, 510-229-7608, or email me at matthewsfinancial.gmail.com. On the 14th, send me your email, because we're doing a special webinar where we have a couple of SBA lenders on the call talking about these programs for more in depth. I do, I'm not an SBA lender. These people are, and they're going to give us great education on what you could do for your small business and the programs are better out there. Every day, things are changing. So it's good that we stay up on these programs and not get caught up in the hype that's all this nonsense that's going wrong. We educate ourselves. Have a good day. Talk to you later.